The U.S. is sending amphibious warship USS Arlington LPD-24 and elements of the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit to the Middle East. It will join the Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group. The Pentagon stated that USS Arlington is a San Antonio-class ship that transports U.S. Marines, amphibious vehicles, conventional landing craft, and rotary aircraft with the capability to support amphibious assault, special operations, or expeditionary warfare missions. Arlington also provides a high-quality command and control capability and improved interoperability with our allies and partners in the region. This comes after decisions to move USS Abraham Lincoln Aircraft Carrier Strike Group, B-52H Stratofortress Bombers, and Patriot Air Defense to the Middle East, citing undisclosed threats from Iran. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why USS Arlington is being sent to the Middle East. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account. USS Arlington is a San Antonio-class warship in the United States Navy. San Antonio-class is a class of amphibious transport docks, also called a Landing Platform Dock LPD. Arlington's keel was laid down on the 26th of May 2008 at Northrop Grumman's Ingalls Shipyard in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Builders' trials of the ship started on the 21st of August 2012. These were completed on August 30th. 2012. The vessel completed Navy acceptance sea trials on the 2nd of November 2012. The U.S. Navy formally accepted the ship on the 7th of December 2012. USS Arlington is currently in 6th Fleet. USS Arlington is capable of transporting U.S. Marines, amphibious vehicles, conventional landing craft, and rotary aircraft. This means it has the capabilities to support amphibious assault, special operations, or expeditionary warfare missions. USS Arlington also provides a high-quality command and control capability and improved interoperability between U.S. forces and partners in the region. The San Antonio class was designed to provide the U.S. Navy and U.S. Marine Corps with a modern sea-based platform that's networked, survivable, and built to operate with 21st century transformational platforms such as the MV-22 Osprey. The San Antonio class has significant survivability features and the class was designed to minimize radar signature which makes it hard to detect and track. The class has a hardened structure so that it can absorb shocks and has an improved nuclear blast and fragmentation protection. USS Arlington is equipped with two Bushmaster II 30 mm closing guns. The gun has a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute and an effective range of 3.1 miles or 5 kilometers. It has two rolling airframe missile launchers. RIM-116 Rolling Airframe Missile RAM, is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile. It has an operational range of 9 kilometers, 5.6 miles. There are two Mark 41 8 cell VLS for quad packed ESSMs. RIM 162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Missile ESSM, is used to protect ships from attacking missiles and aircraft. It has a range of 27 nautical miles or 50 kilometers. Several twin M2 Browning machine gun turrets are also present. USS Arlington can launch or land up to two MV 22 Osprey simultaneously and can accommodate four MV-22s on the flight deck and one in the hangar deck. The Osprey is an American multi-mission 
tilt rotor military aircraft with both vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, and short takeoff and landing STOL, capabilities. It is designed to combine the functionality of a conventional helicopter with the long-range, high-speed cruise performance of a turboprop aircraft. It was designed after the failure of Operation Eagle Claw during the Iran hostage crisis in 1980, which underlined the requirement for a new, long-range, high-speed, vertical takeoff aircraft. For takeoff and landing, it typically operates as a helicopter with the nacelles in vertical and rotors in horizontal position. Once airborne, the nacelles rotate forward 90 degrees in as little as 12 seconds for horizontal flight, converting the Osprey to a more fuel-efficient, higher-speed turboprop aircraft. STOL rolling takeoff and landing capability is achieved by having the nacelles tilted forward up to 45 degrees. It has an operational range of 1,100 nautical miles. The Osprey can be armed with one 7.62 by 51 mm NATO M240 machine gun or .50 inch caliber M2 machine gun. It has a maximum speed of 275 knots, that's 509 kilometers per hour or 316 miles per hour at sea level and 305 knots or 565 kilometers per hour. 351 miles per hour at 15,000 feet. Osprey can accommodate 24 troops seated and 32 troops floor loaded, so V 22 Osprey could be used to carry special ops personnel. USS Arlington deployment indicates that the U.S. is setting the stage for having a major force assembled in the Middle East in the coming days. This is because USS Arlington is especially suited to provide a high-quality command and control capability and can drastically enhance interoperability. An asset like this is required when a large fleet is going to work on a predefined objective. The capability of USS Arlington to deploy special forces also adds another important dimension. Special Forces Operative can take on many different types of missions, including intelligence gathering, which could be used as a base to plan for a tactical plan. It remains to be seen how USS Arlington fits into the larger picture and what role it plays, but there is no doubt the addition of USS Arlington will definitely add a tactical edge to the already significant forces assembling to meet the Iranian threat. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.